wholesale beef price. Beef prices explode to record highs as Kroger and Costco's limit meat prices. Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, now as you see it, all right, hyperinflation and a famine. All right, on food, you know, brothers been prophesizing, being watchmen, and and uh, it's gonna come to pass. All right, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said he will bring a famine to Egypt. Uh, okay, yeah, I almost forgot what scripture I was trying to reach, trying to get, and uh, Habakkuk too. And one, it says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon a tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I'm reproved. For the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. All right. Now, what is making plain is the prophecy. All right. Uh, it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. All right? So what's not going to tarry is the prophecies once it start rolling out. And, you know, Apostle Tahar, he uh, coined this year the year of prophecy. So prophecy has been popping like popcorn. You know, this thing is moving fast. You know, through the weeks, I'll say, I should say years, you know, our apostles and elders have been telling you that a famine was going to come, that Egypt was going to fall. All right, and what Egypt is this is Babylon the Great, the second Egypt, and it's going to fall. There's a famine coming to Babylon the Great. All right, Babylon the Great means great confusion. All right, and Amos, the Lord said he will, his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom, and he will wipe it off the face of the earth. All right, roughly paraphrasing. So here you go, man. All right, beef prices explode to record highs as Kroger and Costco's limit meat. Price, meat purchases, excuse me. Meat purchases. All right, so I'm going to play a little bit of video. And then also I want to show you another video uh, after this. Just, uh, you know, showing that the Most High is visiting this earth in which he made. So let's play this video. This is Dabu7. Looking now at the wholesale beef prices, it begins. We've talked about this, we've warned about this, we've told people get a plan, start growing your own food, or at least stocking up, and here it is. We see this going through the roof. They warned about this. Okay, we were talking about this when they were saying we're going to shut down plants. It is kind of like inevitable. The prices are going to rise as the demand rise, and as you've got less product to put out there. This is what is happening. Tyson made the announcement that they were going to shut down all these plants and they control the largest portion of beef and chicken in this country. Along with them, Smithfield and others shutting down. And we have places like Costco and Kroger saying that they're limiting food items as the beef price soars through the roof. Once again, we try to tell people to get ahead of the curve here so they don't have to suffer in getting hit with these astronomical prices and things that they're going to need. So if it's starting here, what this summer is going to look like, man, people better be praying that things ease up and get back on track. But by all accounts, it doesn't look like that. Even as they're starting to lift lockdowns in some areas, it's timed with the shutdown of these beef plants. And there's no end in sight. There is no opening date on the books. So this is real when it comes to the beef prices soaring and a shortage, very real. It has begun. I'm hoping that people out there are prepared and listen. All right. There it is, man. Okay, it's going to be a hot summer. A hot summer in 2020. You know, hey, the Lord is about to starve niggas out. Okay, and I'm talking about you, uh, you two, you wicked two thirds. 
all right? And you evil as Edomites, all right? And you other nations that's here also in Babylon the Great. That's just, uh, you know, bring forth wickedness. So anyway, um, I want to get a quick scripture real quick. I was here in Jeremiah 18, but before I read that, you know, the word famine, it occurs in the Bible, the King James Version, all right? about 84 times all right you know going back to even with joseph going back with abraham famine you know it's 84 times uh in the king james version and as i was strolling through these and i was looking for scriptures precepts you know this one was a uh you know just screaming to me and this is jeremiah right when he put a curse upon you wicked two-thirds all right, you scoffers and all, all of you all of you that despise this truth. Now judgment is coming. All right. Eventually it's gonna be a hot summer. Lord's willing. You know, if the Lord do this, all right, just know that the prophets were among you and said these things before they will happen. Read in the scriptures, giving all credit, glory, and power to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Showing you that the Bible is official, man. And our Lord Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right, he reigneth in the kingdom of men, okay, and he exists. So anyway, um, I'll read from 11 and read into it, you know, because uh, all you that despise this truth, judgment is coming, you know, and before you know it, we're going to be out of here. America's going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire, all right? They, they're already still practicing for World War Three. the other nations, you know, everything is in place. Esau is thinking he's going to further, well, let's say accomplish his agenda, all right, of his new world order, microchipping everyone, you know. So let's read. It says, Jeremiah 18 11, Now therefore go to speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, I frame evil against you and devise a device against you. Return ye now, everyone, from his evil way and make your ways and your doings good all right because why you know when the prophets the well this happened in the past but now today you know jeremiah he's an example for all of the prophets even today you know jeremiah is back he could be amongst you know brothers here at great millstone we don't know who but the men of the lord the prophets who you read about majority of them they're back all right sitting back in their lot Finishing their uh, finishing their course, all right. Fulfilling the uh, the prophecies of the Lord. Now today, we went out on the highways and byways when the stores was open in the marketplaces, and we prophesied, right. And all our people have done. Let's say two thirds of our people. You didn't want to listen. You didn't want to hearken into the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You despise this truth. All right. You hated this truth. All right, now verse 12, it says, They said, There is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices, and we will every one do to the imagination of his evil heart. Now that's pride. You know, that's why scriptures say, uh, Let your devices save you in that day. All right, because when this famine come and you in the city and you ain't been, let's say, uh, you know, because Jake ain't prepared. And nor do you eat them, mice prepared. You know, Dabu, he made mention about growing food and seeds. You ain't got no time to be growing no damn food, man. All right? You know, you ain't got no time to be growing no food. The Lord is, you know, bringing this thing in quick to catch you off guard. All right? So that judgment can ring. It says, and they said, this is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices. See? And we will everyone do the imaginations of his evil heart. So that's pride. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, ask ye now among the heathen who have heard such things. The virgin of Israel have done very horrible thing, have done a very horrible thing. It says, will a man leave the snow of Lebanon, which cometh from the rock of the field? Or shall the cold flowing waters that come from another place be forsaken? All right. Because why? And these heathens, the Lord talking about is Israelites. All right. Because if you're not following the ways of the Lord, you're not, 
you know, doing what the Lord require you to do, which is to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, you're cast out as heathens. All right. It says, um, verse 15, because my people, see, he said, my people have forgotten me. They have burnt incense to vanity and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient paths to walk in the paths in a way not cast up. All right. So you're supposed to walk in the ancient paths. What is the ancient paths to us today in 2020? Being a Hebrew Israelite. All right. Practicing our Hebrew customs, rehearsing the righteous acts of the most high. All right. And of Yahweh Shai. OK, but instead you do what you made others to stumble. As the scriptures say, when one hears the word, then come the wicked one. All right. Then you got false prophets. OK, you got uh, seduced. You got men, women who get seduced in these spirits with a wicked, wicked doctrine. Getting snared with a hot iron. Anyway, verse 16, to make their land desolate and a perpetual hissing. Everyone that passes thereby shall be astonished and wag his head. I will scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy. I will show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. And that's what we're approaching, the day of your calamity. All right. The day of judgment. It says, then said they come and let us devise devices against Jeremiah. You know, and that's how we know also by us speaking this word. And when these things do come, you know, two thirds are going to turn on us. All right. Because we're the ones who've been prophesizing the, the, the word of the Lord for telling you the things to come. And, you know, Jake is simple as all hell. You know, they just get they got to point the finger at someone. You know, they'll never point the finger at the enemy. All right. Which is your uh, mind control uh, government, you know. Or your, your king here in Babylon, you know, they appoint the finger at the one who's been warning them and been telling them. So anyway, it says, then said they come and let us devise devices against Jeremiah. Jeremiah ain't the reason why the Most High brung destruction upon you. Jeremiah, all right, was the reason. Let's say Jeremiah was sent forth to you to warn you so that the Lord don't cast his, his judgment upon you. All right. But simple as Jake. Right. It says for the law shall not perish from the priests, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come and let us smite him with the with the tongue and let us give heed to any and let us not give heed to any of his words. <laughs> That's why a great persecution is coming to us, brothers. All right. Uh, uh, for the for being a witness of Yahweh Shai. All right. And remember, um, who is the ones that, you know, cast up Yahweh Shai to be on that cross? That was the Israelites. All right. The wicked two thirds. You know, when they said race, they said, uh, let let this curse be upon us and our children. That was Israelites saying that. All right. They wanted Yahweh Shai to be cast up. They hated the fact that he claimed that he was the son of the Most High. And he was. And they knew that after he was crucified and he gave up the spirit. They knew that. All right. Verse 19. Give heed to me, O Yahweh, and hearken to the voice of them that contend with me. All right. So you damn right. We, uh, we have we also have um, uh, right, righteous anger. We have a right to be mad. OK. You know, a lot of you uh, uh, people that watch this for entertainment because you want to see a show and you see brothers flared up. Brothers passion come out, brothers uh, righteous anger come out because of demons approaching us in camps, you know, demons stalking and and, uh, you know, uh, Esau taking down our videos, you know, when 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 we put up a curse on you and you thought it was funny. OK, you thought it was funny, but little did you know when the most high is going to bring calamity and uh, judgment, hey, that judgment going to rest upon you for the wickedness that you've done. You Edomites, you're not getting away with the murder, the robbery, the theft. All right. So how much more you two third Israelites? The Lord said he's going to start with his house first. All right. Before the Lord come clean up on these heathens, he got to clean his own house. And that's starting with you Israelites. So it says, give heed to me, O Yahweh, 
and hearken to the voice of them that contend with me. Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have digged a pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them and to turn away thou wrath from them. And that's exactly what the men of the Lord, and I'm going to say starting with our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone. We're out there for the love of our people, man. You so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. We're out here to tell you that what? You men of Israel are princes of the Most High. All right? You women, get your act together and be daughters. All right? That the Most High created you to be as a helper to your man. All right? Because your man is a prince. But instead, as Jeremiah said, shall evil recompense for good? You see? For they have digged a pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them. And the Heavenly Father knows, man. You know, when we're out there and we were speaking, okay, while we're speaking and speaking into the camera now mainly instead of the people, we're out for your good, to speak good, the good before you, before the Most High. That's why it's all about the election, all right? And there's only a few, you know, a few. We get more wicked demons that love to scoff the word than we do get uh, sincere men or women, all right? So when the sincereness comes, all right, hey, we put we, we ask the Lord to bless that person, all right, bless that man, bless that woman, you know, and let them carry on their way, deliver them from the Lord's evil. But the rest of you, phew, famine is coming. It says, shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have digged a pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them and to turn away thou wrath from them. All right. Hmm. Verse 21, therefore deliver up their children to the famine and pour out their blood by the force of the sword and let their wives be bereaved, bereaved of their children and be widows and let their men be put to death. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. So a lot of you, all right, going to have to face this calamity and judgment and being put to death, man, starting with a famine. All right. And ain't no telling this summer, you know, ain't no telling this summer, you know, it's going to be a hot summer, man. You know, anything is possible right now. This summer, they could be a uh, force of the chip. Ain't no telling, you know, Salakia, uh, ain't no telling, you know, what this summer is going to actually uh, sing to us, man. All right. Because you can see that a famine is on its way, man. And. First, they started off with the pork factories being shut down, which you ain't supposed to be eating that shit. Now you got Tyson's, okay, which is a well-known uh, uh, meat factory that, you know, distributes this meat across the world to the major supermarkets being shut down. And now you got beef prices explode to record highs. You know, it says as Kroger, uh, Kroger and Costco's limit meat purchases, so... You won't be able to buy these stockpiles of meat at your uh, stock at your stock markets, man. All right. You know, where you pick up stock at, you know, because a lot of people, you know, is basically prepping, you know, they prepping now. You know, made a lot of people, you know, not just the doomsday preppers, but a lot of people now don't want to get caught out here. So a lot of people is prepping when they re up, they go get those big stocks. A meat, you know, pay like what two, three hundred dollars, you know, for a whole shitload of meat that can last for a month, you know, which is a good thing to do. But guess what? The Lord said he come like a thief in the night and he's using these Edomites. OK, to uh, bring forth these curses that was sent upon you, you know. So anyway, it says, therefore, deliver up their children. Notice the Lord. Notice Jeremiah said their children. Because that's what's there until you pride evil men and women. Okay? It says, and to the famine, to pour out their blood by the force of the sword. And what is the force of the sword? Your modern day gun. All right? That sword is Esau and his military, his might. Okay? His teeth. It says, and let their wives be bereaved and their children. 
Now, I just want to look up something real quick. Bereaved. Come back to that. Which I know it says it right there, but. Bereaved. Bereaved. Deprived of a close relation or friend through their deaths. All right. Check that out. Derived of a close relation or friend through their death. So going back to the H7 Strong's 87909, bereaved. It says childless. All right. Uh, bereaved, robbed of offspring, barren, robbed. So there it is, man. All right. It says, therefore, deliver up their children to the famine. And pour out their blood by the force of the sword. And, their, and let their wives be bereaved of their children. And be widows. And let their men be put to death. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. Now you suppose, when you hear this and you, you read this in the scriptures, you're supposed to be afraid, man. You know, you're supposed to humble yourself and repent. All right? It says... Let a cry be heard from their houses when they shall bring a troop suddenly upon them. For they shall dig a pit to take them and hide snares for my feet. All right. And these are men, women who wanted to attack Jeremiah. And Jeremiah put this curse up on their asses, man. All right. You know, when a famine of food come, there's going to be sedition. You know, I was telling someone in my family, man, like, you know, Start, uh, you know, making sure you grab a couple of meats every day because uh, what's going to happen is, you know, you may have meat in the crib and you may still go out to the spots where you could get your food from and you may be trying to re-up, but knowing that you got food already in the crib, right? And if you don't get food from the, from the market, then you, you'll be, still be okay. But there's going to be people out here that doesn't have food at all, man, at all. And they're going to be stressed. They're going to be violent. They're going to be aggressive. And they're going to be determined. And all they're going to say is, well, what I'm going to eat when I go home? We ain't got, I ain't got shit. They're going to start looting, rioting, all right? Sedition, breaking in your homes, you know? Esau is basically bringing a famine. All right. He stopped these factories from delivering their foods. I heard they slaughtered all the damn animals in hopes to get the food out. But the food wasn't able to get out. So now the food is just wasted. And they slaughtered hundreds, hundreds, I think thousands, man. All right. Of these animals. So anyway, you know, this is judgment. Let a cry be heard from their houses when that when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them. For they have digged the pit to take me and hid snares for my feet. And that goes as well as you men today and you women that hate the prophets, man. All right. The true prophets of the Lord that have been prophesying week in and week out. It says, yet, Yahweh, thou knowest all their counsels against me to slay me. Forgive not their iniquity, neither blot out their sin from thy sight. But let them be overthrown before thee. Deal thus with them. In the time of thy anger. So really, <laughs> you can't repent. <laughs> All right. Jeremiah prayed to the Lord that he that he don't want them to repent. You know, bring that judgment upon them for plotting out, plotting on killing Jeremiah, man. You know, you had a lot of men scoffers today. Just recently, I did this video and I haven't loaded yet. I haven't loaded yet, but this fool, what's what's the name? Uh, Chevy Cage, in a way, you know threatening me on the comment board, man, you know, wanting me to pray into some false name, you know, thinking that uh, Satan device was going to seduce me. What well, the scriptures say, we're not ignorant to Satan devices, you know, and then they said on the comment, you know, and I got the snapshots. I did the video. I just haven't named it and posted, but they said something that, you know, I, uh, I got to watch my back, you know, and then they said basically in the comment, um, you know, I'm a, I don't care whoever sees this, 
you know, what you doing? You know, what you going to take my life? Well, the most high, all right, you know, curse you, all right? Just as well as Jeremiah cursed these Israelites that were going off, man, that were prideful, and you guys are back today. So, you know, with this famine, you know, it's, 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 it's here, man. It's coming. That's why I read Habakkuk, you know? And when it come to pass, you're going to know that there were prophets among you speaking his word, the ones you despise. All right, the videos you click away from because you hate to hear the news. All right, so uh, from here, I want to show y'all another video just showing you that the Lord is visiting this earth in which he made. Now, this is skies turn blood red in Nigeria. So check this out. Dos de la tarde en Niamey, Niger. Tormenta de arena. Válgame. Dos de la tarde. Hace 20 minutos había un solazo. Wow. Dude, this is kind of cool. Kind of weird. Kind of Completamente tupidos de arena. Tormenta de arena en Niamey, Niger. Ay, chora. Vos prié. Yep, and the Lord is truly visiting this earth in which he made. And I'll read that and I'm gone. This is uh Second Edris chapter nine and one. It says he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself when thou seest part of the signs pass, which the signs you know, you can read in Matthew 24, you know, and various other precepts throughout the scriptures. But Matthew 24, you know, when Yahweh Shai, he, uh, what, you know, told the disciples the signs, you know, those he told them plainly. We see those signs today. So it says, when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then thou shall under, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right. The Lord is visiting this world which he made. It doesn't matter if you eat or might think that these elites. Let me say these elite. All right. These elites believe that they're doing everything. You know, they're causing a reaction. You know, what is it? Um, a uh, problem, reaction, solution. They cause the problem. People react and then they bring a solution. So they're playing God. And they believe everything is going to go accordingly to their plan. Well, guess what? Everything that they allowed to do and is being done, the Heavenly Father ordained it for it to be done. All right? Because it lines up with prophecy until he cuts you off. So, then thou shalt, then sh excuse me, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high speck of those things from the days that will be for thee, even from the beginning. So before us, okay, the most high already foretold the end. Okay, the most high already foretold the end from the very, very beginning. So what are we doing? We're all just really puppets playing out the Lord, the movie role of the Heavenly Fathers. But it's a blessing to be on the right side of the Lord and being of his uh, His chosen people and better yet, the elect. All right. It says, for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end and the end is manifest. And that's clearly a cut on you elites, you Rothschilds, all right, you Edomites, the house of Esau that think that you can in your own world and then start a new one it doesn't work that way all right they want to end their old world and start this new world where everyone is microchip you see and they're playing the role of god you know they're causing all these problems people you know are crying out to their gods because they're not crying into the true and living god and they think these things are real like this uh stupid ass hoax with this current with this c19 okay not saying people ain't died from it, but I put a video up I saw on the feed from another channel. And, you know, even a nurse in New York was t dropping bombs, all right, on how 
uh, what was the term? What was the term? Ooh, I, had, I gotta get that term in my head. It was medically mismanaging. Medically mismanaging. Medically mismanaging. And that's what's happening in, in these, uh, th this, that's what's happening in these hospitals. Medically mismanaging. All right. Mm, to manage, this is a uh, mismanage. To manage something wrong, wrongly or poorly, and that's what they're doing. They, these hospitals are killing these people, saying that they got COVID. You know, not helping the ailment and the treat treating them rightly. You know, so um, it says. Uh, verse four, then shall thou well understand at the most high speck of those things from the days that we be, were before thee, even from the beginning, like as all that is made in the, for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end and an end is manifest. And that's why we say we are at the end of the world, which that word world means eon. Okay. World of Esau, the world of his rulership. So we're at the end of his world. All right, because the scriptures say Jacob is up next. Jacob is up next that followeth, you know, uh, read six. And it says, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. All right. So I hope you were edified. You know, famine is coming. All right. The Lord showed the skies red. In Nigeria, all over Nigeria, all right, beef beef prices explode. Beef prices explode to record highs as Kroger and Costco's limit meat purchases. See? You know, so, hey, by this summer, shit, fuck around and be out of here. You know, so, hey, with that, want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash, want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.